Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can change the icons size on Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. If you want to make icons smaller or bigger, there are a few things that you can do in order to adjust the size. First and foremost, you can go to the settings. In the settings, you can go to home screen. And now over here we have home screen grid and app screen grid. Uh, most likely we are interested in the home screen grid. And over here we can adjust the grid size in order to fit more apps therefore making the icons a little bit smaller unless you actually were using a different grid then of course you can switch to 6x5 which makes uh, the apps a little bit bigger now i know there's also the screen zoom in display settings and technically you can adjust the size of everything but it doesn't really change the icon size for instance in the home screen it only changes on the task bar so for instance over here as you can see if I have this app opened and if I change the screen zoom they are bigger, I mean these icons, but in the home screen they really aren't that bigger, only the text, the name of the app is bigger, so it doesn't really change the icon size. So there is actually one more thing that you can do in order to adjust the size and actually make icons bigger if you want to. And what you need to do is go to the Play Store and we need to download a Nova launcher. This is of course an example launcher. This one is free. Of course there's also the paid version Prime but we don't really need it. And once you install it and um, then we can open it. And once you open for the first time you can press get started and right here you can immediately make the so you can choose the size of uh, icons. You can also change the uh, style of icons if needed. We're gonna stick with rounded rectangles for now. And as you can see, it says if I try to increase the size that uh, you can make icons even larger by reducing the grid or disabling labels. So we're going to get back to that in a short while. For now, let's let's move forward. Over here, we have some additional settings. Of course, you can feel free to, um, to go through these. And over here, let's go next. Let's press this arrow. We have the app drawer style. Uh, we don't, we, I can actually recommend you disabling keyboard over here because it gets quite annoying if you open the app drawer and it actually shows the keyboard, so we don't need that, unless you actually prefer. Let's go next, and the setup is finished, so we can go home. Now, this isn't the launcher yet, we can actually open the, uh, the app drawer in order to find the Nova launcher, and when you press on it, once you open it, then you can see it is actually changed. So this is the launcher that we are talking about, if you open the app drawer, you can see the apps are actually bigger, the icons, but now we can start adding apps to the home screen. So in order to do that, we can press and hold the finger on the app and then drag it over there. And let's keep moving. There we go. We have another one over here. Let's add Gmail because why not? Of course, if you want to, you can store them in a folder if needed and so on and so forth. I'm going to add one more just for the example. There we go. Now, in order to adjust the size of icons, we can press and hold our finger on the home screen and then we can tap settings. And if you actually like the launcher, uh, then you can also set it later to a default so that you always use it. Otherwise, you will be able to simply go back to the previous one. So um, over here, we can go to the home screen. And now, as you can see, we have the settings for the uh, home screen we can go to desktop grid in order to adjust the uh, sizes of icons so as you can see if we reduce the amount of apps that we can store then we can um, make these icons bigger i'm gonna actually disable subgrid positioning and let's press ok and as you can see now i can even increase the size of icons up to 167 percent so i'm gonna stick with that uh, of course, we have some additional settings here, so if you want to, you can, of course, go through them if needed. We're going to stick with the sizes for now. And there we go. As you can see, immediately, these are these apps are actually immediately bigger. Um, but as you can see, the text is now smaller, but that um, I don't think that's the problem because I'm pretty sure we can also change the size of the text. Right, so... In the home screen settings of the launcher, we have label over here. And of course, we can enable and disable the label if needed. But we can also tap on this arrow over here. Or actually, we can tap on the label itself in order to change the text size. Of course, this changes the size of icons. But if you want to adjust the text to fit the size of the icon, then of course, you can do it like that. We can also change the font to, for instance, light. 
to medium and so on and so forth. So I think the light one looks pretty, fo pretty fun. We can also enable shadows for the text and single lines. So lots of customization options and that are worth checking out. So this is how it looks like now. Of course, the apps that are over here at the bottom don't have labels, but everything above actually has labels. And that's pretty much it. So this is how we can set it up. And like I said, if you actually like the launcher, if you want to prevent from exiting, because you can also open the background apps tab outside in order to go back to the default launcher. So to prevent that from happening, you can actually go to the settings one more time. And this time we're going to tap over here and we have a default home app. We want to choose Nova Launcher and there we go. So now if I try to exit or something, I'm actually not really able to. Of course, you can, for instance, remove the Nova Launcher, uninstall it uh, by pressing and holding your finger on the app. And I think we should be able to uninstall. Uh, if not, then in that case, we can just simply go to the settings and uninstall it through settings. So let me quickly also show you how, it, how to do this. Let's open settings, scroll down to apps. There we go. And here we need to find the Nova launcher, which should be there. And we need to first stop first, and then we should be able to uninstall it. Unfortunately, it's not working. So the next thing that we're going to do is go to the home screen over here. So you can actually scroll down. Let me actually show you one more time. Let's go back. Uh, if you are in apps, you can go to the Nova launcher over here. You should be able to go to home screen and switch to one UI. And then if you return to the settings, now you can actually uninstall it. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.